All right, guys, I wanted to drop this video before you guys clock in this morning to let you know that no job is safe. So please be planning your exit strategy from whatever your job is. This is Anti-Job, where we help you reveal your passion out of the cash in. Do you know who Carlos Miller is? Net worth three million, but might not even be that for real, for real. But he was fired from the Wild and Out show, the Nick Cannon show, right? Nick Cannon was fired, ain't that? kind of hilarious but anyway uh he's gonna go into why he was fired in the first place letting you know that just because you don't work a stationary walmart type nine to five job if you work for someone else you can still be fired guys no job is safe no job is safe here's the words from his own mouth like i told y'all no job was safe all right i don't think y'all heard that let me make sure that you do the sound okay let me go back a little bit all right. I showed up like I told y'all. Y'all thought y'all was safe. Y'all thought y'all was safe. What, what, they gonna refire me? I've been there before. I'm already good. I knew what was gonna happen. I knew what was gonna happen, man. So the problem is on the Nick Cannon show, like you're doing a lot of jokes, you're rapping and you're battling and you say stuff about people, certain different organizations that uh, the one percent or the so-called Illuminati don't want you to talk about, you know. So if you have a job, even if it's your own so-called show, you have to remember that these people in the higher ups they like to manipulate you if you have a job and make you think. So they'll give you a name tag with a position on it, like manager or supervisor. So you feel it's an illusion of power, guys. So you might be on your way to work right now in your Corvette or your whatever you're driving. You might work downtown in the big high rise buildings and think you're very important, but somebody can always knock on your door and say, come here, let me talk to you in the office for a minute. All right. And now your entire life changes. OK, so th this brother right here is worth three mil. And then Nick Cannon is worth millions. Right after uh, they kicked Carlos Miller off the show, Nick Cannon got kicked off his own show just for saying something. It's supposed to be your show. How do you get fired? But anyway, all right, let's keep going. I was talking big shit. Mm. But then I, I know Nick, and I know the way white people respond to him. I know yeah. that them people wasn't mad at dude for real. So he's talking about the fact that Nick Cannon grew up off of Nickelodeon. So his, his fan base is majority Caucasian any dang on way. So it wasn't about racism. It was about a particular person that he offended when he said what he said. And we'll get into it. My God. It wasn't that he made a bunch of folks mad. He made somebody mad. Yeah. Now, here's the point right here. Hey, that's what happened, bro. You only get to do so much in this box as a black man. It don't matter who you are. When they see you doing something that they ain't necessarily up on or agree with, they have to do, they have to separate themselves. So you heard that, right? So you can only go so far. So you can be worldwide known. But if you have a job, you can only say or do so much. You really don't have power. It's an illusion of power. People think they have power, but it's just an illusion. You really don't have any power. Now watch this. This is That was why Nick Cannon got fired right after him. But I want to show you why he specifically got fired from the Nick Cannon show before Nick Cannon got fired himself. All right, watch this. Listen. So, and then Carlos Miller was like, he don't know why he got kicked off. But what they were talking about was they said Carlos Miller or Carlos Miller said he made a joke about Mariah Carey. Now, we used to hearing jokes about Mariah Carey on Wild and Out. But this joke, I guess, I don't know if it really offended Nick or... If it's something else, but what he said was he he joked about. Okay, we ain't gonna get into that joke cause for this type of channel, but I just wanted y'all to see what I'm talking. We ain't talking about your average McDonald's worker or Wendy's worker getting fired right here. We're talking about high level celebrities, so called celebrities, and this is what this channel is about: is about achieving true freedom. So sometimes when you leave a job and go after your dreams, you get manipulated into thinking that entrepreneurship. You know that your next job is actually entrepreneurship so if you become a singer if you sign a con it doesn't matter what gift is or the passion is is the passionate job you <laughs> still a job meaning somebody can shoot short at the end of the day so that's not true freedom guys that's not true freedom if you have a job, true freedom for those of you who are thinking of becoming musicians or comedians or any of that if you sign a contract you're not you're not free with all these outlets and sites that you can sell your own music on or do your own TV shows. You're not, you can create your own platforms. 
because YouTube could cut you at any time. So you're not free if you're on somebody else's platform either. All right. So my point guys, if, if you want to reveal your passion in order to cash in, text the number in the description of this video. If you text us right now, we will go ahead and give you every single business course, marketing course, entrepreneurship course that we have uh, at the school completely on the house. We will not charge you for the courses at all. Um, and this will help you ramp up and reveal your passion for the cash in. So you're not tied to any contracts or anybody like that. All right. Love you guys. Welcome to the High Job University. See you in the next.